compute the limit as x goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. This is a calculus formula, just so you know. It's a, it has to do with the derivative, and you'll see what that's You'll see what that's like once you learn derivatives when you get to calculus, but it's important that you know how to number crunch this kind of stuff. So first of all, let's find f of x plus h. That's the hardest part right there. f of x plus h is going to be, I'm going to write f of x, I'm going to write out f of x. Let me change colors here. 2 squared times, so it's 2x plus h squared, so I'm going to put x plus h in there minus x plus h plus 6. So notice that I'm plugging everywhere I see an x, I'm plugging in x plus h. So I'm plugging in anywhere I saw x for f of x, I'm plugging instead, I'm plugging x plus h in, and so that's that. Now to simplify this, that's an h right there, I have to make sure I don't distribute that squared in because that's not how it works. x squared x plus h squared means x plus h times x plus h. That's the mistake most people make. So when I FOIL this out, I'm going to get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. And there's a 2 in front of that. And also people make the mistake of forgetting to distribute that negative into both of these here. So that's minus x and minus h, and then I have the plus 6. Now let's distribute the 2 in. 2x squared plus Oops, 4xh plus 2h squared minus x minus h plus 6. Now let's add like terms. Um, notice that my like terms are just going to be uh, nothing. There's no like terms here. So that right there is simplified. And then I'm going to subtract. So that's, that's just f of x plus h. So let me erase all this stuff and let me plug that in right up here. So this equals the limit as h goes to 0 of, I'm going to plug that mess in, 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared minus x minus h plus 6. All right, I'm running out of room, so let's be right all right, there's the longhand work for it. So check that out.